Wow. And with that, Dowd, escorted by his lawyers, went off to be booked on a 41-count racketeering, extortion, and bribery indictment. In plain English, the Miami Beach mayor is charged with using his office for personal profit. He's accused, for example, of demanding tens of thousands of dollars of renovations to his Sunset Island home from developers and contractors who were competing for millions in city business. Perhaps most notable, Dowd is accused of demanding and getting $35,000 from ousted Sintrust Chairman David Paul. The alleged payback was Dowd's support of the special permit that Paul needed to build a boat dock at his lavish home. Moreover, Dowd is accused of lying to the IRS about his actual income from 1984 through 1989. To the tune, I believe the indictment was in the approximate amount of $350,000 over those years. Alex Dowd was in Miami Beach City government for 12 years, including the last six as mayor. Knowing trouble was on the way, he had hoped to leave office on his own in a few weeks. Instead, he left the FBI building this morning in handcuffs. Hours later, I've been charged with everything except causing Pearl Harbor. When you have a weak case, a really weak case, you hope that the sheer number of counts will overwhelm the public and lead it to think, gee, with so many counts, he must have done something wrong. But I've done nothing wrong. And with that, Alex Dowd left the federal courthouse about an hour ago. He would take no questions from reporters. Apparently, he's saving all of his answers for a federal jury, which, if it was to convict him, could send Dowd to jail for life. Now, Dowd will be suspended as a matter of course from his position as mayor. That's a moot point, really, since he was going to leave office in the next several weeks. No word as of yet as to exactly when his trial might begin. And this, this investigation is a continuing one, leaving open the possibility that this web of corruption could spread beyond Dowd. Michael Williams.